I'm Matthew McAuliffe, and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. A Jewish program that claims to help men with same-sex attraction is being sued for fraud in New Jersey, the first case of its kind, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. The abusive methods used by the therapy group Jonah, or Jews offering new alternatives to healing, has the media decrying same-sex attraction therapy in general as abusive to one's sexual orientation. You can read more about this court case on our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. The American military is the last bastion of discrimination against women, says the ACLU, as they commence a courtroom clash over the ban on women in combat. The American Civil Liberties Union is suing the Department of Defense after a complaint was filed recently in Northern California, one year after homosexuals have been allowed to openly serve in the military. The case stems from women pilots allowed to fly search and rescue helicopter missions in nominally non-combat counterterrorism job roles who want the same recognition as male Marine soldiers after being wounded on the same missions. The Council of American Islamic Relations, or CARE, has allegedly committed more fraud, called into court to answer charges by the American Freedom Law Center. The legal brief filed by the Law Center claims to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that CARE is a criminal organization. You may remember CARE was named a, quote, unindicted co-conspirator in the Holy Land Foundation trial, the largest terror funding trial in U.S. history, and is known for its ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Christian and pro-life groups on college campuses can't catch a break this Christmas season as one college denies students from forming a pro-life group while another is forbidden to sell Christmas trees. Students at a polytechnic university in British Columbia, Canada say they are prepared to sue after the student union has forbidden them to form a pro-life group on campus because it opposes the union's pro-death stances. Meanwhile, officials at a North Carolina community college told a student club they could not call their tree sale a Christmas tree sale because the school could not promote anything having to do with a, quote, Christian event. You can read more about both of these incidents on our resource page. Just click on the link right outside the screen. Pope John Paul II's ride will now be a rental for partygoers, according to the new owner of the Pope Mobile. Patty Dunning acquired the Ford Transit van converted for the pontiff's visit to Ireland in 1979 when he bought the Dublin Wax Museum and plans on charging a hefty fee equivalent to $324 per hour. He plans to be very selective about who is able to rent it and will also be made available for sporting and charity events as well. A depiction alluding to Barack Obama as Christ on the cross, prevented from its debut in New York's Union Square due to public outrage, now hangs in a community college art exhibit in Boston. However, the display that got so much public outrage four years ago, according to the Daily Mail newspaper, has met with no complaints at all in its new home, at Bunker Hill Community College Art Gallery, where it is on display until December 15th. You can get more information on the exhibit on our resource page by clicking the link right outside the screen. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael sounds the call for retreat, but maybe not the kind you're thinking of. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you.